it's Christmas time here on YouTube. And that means your recommendations are filled with, other than Doug Walker's hideous thumbnails, eggnog recipe videos. And sure, you can make plain old regular eggnog, or be a real holiday chad and make caramel eggnog. Now obviously eggnog needs duh eggs. And if that's news to you, you really shouldn't be anywhere near a kitchen. Now some chefs are ballsy enough to put raw eggs into eggnog. But right now COVID cases are surging and I don't want to give anyone salmonella on top of that. So here's a clip from last year's chocolate eggnog episode to see how you do it. To pasteurize the eggs, bust out your sous vide machine, link in the description by the way, and a container that will hold at least six quarts or six liters of water. So fill up the container with enough water to come above the minimum requirement for your sous vide machine. Set the temperature for 135. Okay, once the sous vide comes up to temp, using a pair of tongs, gently dunk in our eggs. Okay, once the eggs are in, set the timer for two hours and let them pasteurize. Okay, after two hours, take our eggs and throw them in an ice bath. Okay, once the eggs have cooled down, we're gonna crack three whole eggs and put them in a bowl. The egg whites are nice and cloudy. That means we did a good job. Also, we're gonna need three egg yolks. And separating the yolk from a pasteurized egg is a little bit more harder. Just try your best until you get the yolk separated. Okay, once we got our three eggs and three egg yolks in, whisk them all together. One cup of packed brown sugar. Next, add one teaspoon of cinnamon. and one teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And yes, if you're gonna make your own eggnog, caramel or otherwise, you have to use freshly grated nutmeg. Because if you use pre-ground nutmeg instead of coal, Santa's gonna give you a bitch slap across the back of the head for Christmas. Uh, so yeah, like I said, one teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg. And yes, the rumors are true. Too much nutmeg and you'll begin to trip balls. So go easy on it. Uh, hey, CRJ coming from the tutor. Uh, don't forget to add half a teaspoon of salt. All right, let's set aside our proto nog for now, our eggnog. And let's begin on the caramel portion of our eggnog. So in a sauce pot, add three cups of heavy cream. Then add two 14 ounce cans of Dulce de Leche. And uh, I'm just gonna let you know right now, this stuff is impossible to find in stores. Unless you're lucky, you're gonna have to make them. Let's do what I did. Take a can of sweetened condensed milk, submerge it in water and boil it for three hours. And boom, a lovely can of Dulce de Leche. And hopefully you won't need to use a pair of pliers to open the can. I'll also leave a purchase link to some in the description of this video. All right, spoon out our Dulce de Leche and just add it to our pot. Okay, with the Dulce de Leche in the pot, put it over medium high heat and keep mixing until the caramel and the cream are fully combined. And I really do mean fully dissolved. You're not seeing any little specks of unincorporated caramel. Turn off the heat. We need to add it to our egg and brown sugar mixture. But here's the thing, this is about 190 degrees. This isn't. If we dump this into that, you're dining on the worst plate of flan in your life. So what we're gonna do is temper the eggs and gradually raise the temperature of our eggs. Mmm, smelling like a Cinnabon up in here. 
I swear, if you ever wanted to drink the smell of a Cinnabon, make this. Okay, once they reach the same temperature, you can dump the cream in. And finally, let's cool this down by adding three cups of milk. All right, let's give this a nice taste test. Okay, this is gonna need a little bit more nutmeg. And finally, ladle our eggnog into a pitcher. Pour some on the cup, add a little brandy, and have yourself a merry little Christmas. Now I know what some of you are probably thinking. Oh, COVID's out of whack this year. I can't have people over to my house. I'll get sick. To which I have to say, make this whole damn thing for yourself. This sh is the bomb. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Um, is it a bad time to bring up that Doug Walker with someone I used to look up to?